Thank you. Yes, Dad, no son of the monkey. Yeah. Guess we killed them all. Because that's just how I roll. Yeah. I hate time zones sometimes. They're confusing to figure out. Then they suck at every other point. Curse you, son. Why don't you just, like, create a wall that orbits the Earth so we can have perpetual day and never in, and never night? No, that sounds like a terrible idea thinking on it now. Anyways. Now, can I use anti-venom? Yay! Can you use anti-venom? Alright, let's do this. Come on, anti. I'm making use of you. Let's get to work. Your test subjects hold no... Hold no... I don't know where I was gonna go with that. Let's see, um... Your test subjects stand no chance against the mighty power of... Anti-Venom. I don't know. I got done reading that story arc, though. That was fun. New Ways to Die, the uh, story arc that first introduced Anti-Venom. That was a fun read. Mainly just because it was fun to watch Anti-Venom and Venom both double super bro-fist Spider-Man out of the way while they were fighting. Oh, I don't want to play Mutants Genetic Gladiators. Maybe. If I ever, like, get bored of Marvel. That's my only one problem. I dedicate myself to one game, never touch any other game on Facebook, because I know if I do, I'll get distracted from the other game, and I'll never build up my uh, enough resources that I needed to play that game. Crazy. Now bleed, little man. Or we'll just do this. Yeah! Let's see, I need black cat. What lockbox hero do you have? You know, depending on that answer, it could be super good. I've been playing a long time, though. I remember the days of the first Spec Ops. And everyone bitches about how hard these ones are. Nothing will ever compare to the immense difficulty of the first Spec Ops ever. was the only Spec Ops hero I didn't get. Until they re-released Mockingbird and I fucking uh, bought that shit in a heartbeat. My collection was not complete. It must always be complete. I'm not crazy, I promise. Slight obsessive, but not crazy. Uh, let's go, Thane. Yeah, sure, why not? <sighs> ah, there we go. Let's see, I haven't used his powers in a while. Oh, you have Taskmaster. That's at least something, Taskmaster's fucking amazing. <laughs> I mean, I actually had a lot of fun with Taskmaster, and if it weren't for the fact that I've used him 
a lot in a lot of my videos, I would actually probably be doing him right now. It's a thing I like to do when I'm not doing guides, is that I like to switch between characters that have had a lot of screen time and haven't, so I'll end up using like what most people will consider lower tier characters just because they don't use them that often. But I think it keeps the variety very fresh feeling because with each new character there becomes like a thousand different combinations that can be had with all the characters and the new characters. So yeah, fun time. Speaking of new characters, I'm super excited for... Is it Shauna? Or Shayna? The She-Devil? Announced for a Covert Ops. That'll be fun. I already have the 90 command points plus more necessary to recruit her. I just have to wait on the what the tasks are for Chapter 5 to get her. Oh, thank you! I tried to do my best with my guides because it's like I say in those all the time when anyone on the internet, be it Kingfisher, someone else, whenever they make a guide, they're always like, okay, now this is how I took care of this boss. And you'll see they'll have the Warbringer Axe, Coulson's Revenge, fucking two synthetic cubes. And it's like, Jesus Christ, why don't you just buy the battle already? So I like to limit myself to stuff that can be farmed, that is farmable, unless stated otherwise. Such as, I was going to have a technicality. Uh, actually, there is going to be a technicality. I think it's for... I think it's Chapter 4 that has uh, Storm, Colossus, and Cyclops heroic battle against the Toad, Avalanche, and Dragonus. And my one loophole I was going to make was I was... I don't like using outfits that you can't get because, again, that goes along with my whole Oh, I can't get this, but you need this to win the battle type deal. So I was actually going to use Cyclops' uncanny outfit, the one received from, a uh, uh, got received from Chapter 2 Mastery, just because I absolutely love that suit, and that would be my one loophole because at that time you could already have it, and that was going to be my workaround. Hang on just a second, there is one messaging me, and for the sake of anonymity. I don't want to reveal who it is or what they're saying. There we go. Let's see. Who is Best Scrapper? Uh, God, Best Scrapper. Iron Fist. I'm sure everyone loves Yeah, that's that's only that's the only sad part. Depending on who the heroes are necessary, you probably farm out the uh, ne the necessities for those uh, covert tasks. Maybe, unless it's like me with my f no, that that was chapter one mastery. Never mind. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to wait till it comes out, see how it goes. You might get lucky. Yeah, it didn't give me any troubles. I hate sometimes when I like turn off the tab for the games, it'll sometimes forget like the proper boxing I have around it to quickly pick it up. It's just like, oh, okay, yeah, we forgot, we're retarded. <laughs> no, don't abort. I hate clicking too fast that I end up going, okay, okay, and no, don't abort. What's that big problem? You can talk to me about it. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I have a doctor. And just because of that stupid joke, I'm going to use Doctor Doom. <laughs> uh, not enough free time? Not enough energy? Both? Just 
It's like, that's, a, that's another common one I hear. It's like, how do you get command points? Or it's like, what's the trick to getting command points? It's like, there's no trick. Just a lot of patience and a lot of luck. And a lot of free time. I will read you in a second. Oh, I dropped 65 frames somewhere. When did I do that? You better, you could tr- <laughs> You can trust me, I am THE doctor. And with that, I have suddenly just divided the entire chat room. Into those who enjoy Doctor Who and those who don't care. <laughs> I've also divided the entire internet now, you're welcome. No need to thank me. <laughs> But you can't do a British accent to save my life. Everyone bows before doom. Except for that guy who survived. He won't be surviving for very long. Fuck him. Call of Duty! Good times. Yay, regular Venom. Let's send Agent Venom on a deploy. Come on, lockboxes. I need me some lockboxes. Fuck. Lockboxes? Yes, no, maybe kind of? Crap. God, what I need is like a big, gigantic row of high rich to show up in my friends list so I can kill them all. Again. Yay, Carnage. I love you, Carnage. You're one of my favorite of the symbiotes. So much so you took possession of Ben Riley, and it's damn near impossible to find that fucking on the internet. Also, the Silver Surfer, because no one defeats the power of <laughs> of the what was it? The Carnage Cosmic, I think, is what it was. I do not, for the life of me, remember, and that's going to bug me. Yeah, I know that feeling. Which is so funny because I think it was during the Apocalypse Spec Ops. Every time I try to do a character, I try to do a voice, but they end up all sounding the same. Until it got to Rogue, where it was, okay, I'm from the South, I can do a Southern accent, but I can't do chick voices. How does this work? Eventually, I just said, fuck it. Because it's, it's weird. Like, you're from the south, you should be able to do a sun accent, which ain't that hard doing. When it comes to, like, doing chick voices, that's DW's forte, not mine. I'll just start throwing in audio clips of Rogue from the 90s cartoon <laughs> for any time she speaks. Or just take audio clips from, uh, maybe it was Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I think she was in that one. Actually, I'm pretty sure she was in that one. I don't know what good I did that for. I did it because I saw Cable was low on stamina. 
I often forget he doesn't need stamina to attack. Then it's just, yay! And then Psychic attacks And Psychic attacks galore. Isn't that right, Kanage? Probably. Oh, they did that with uh, lockbox heroes. I mean, what are, what are they up to? They're up to they're up to Ares now, I think, in uh, Spec Ops characters. I know from time to time they re-release lockboxes for like discounted prices of gold, but I'm not sure if they'll like fully release a lockbox character. Well, let's face it, it's a corporation, it's a business. If they get it asked enough. Probably. A joke, you should seriously go watch the... the old X-Men 90s cartoon. It's so cheesy. But oh my god, is it so good. <laughs> I loved that show. Even some anime I can't, like... I can't watch seriously, like... I went back and started watching, I don't know if you know this, but it was an old anime series called The Ronin, called, in America it was dubbed Ronin Warriors. I don't know what the original was called. And I remember seeing that years ago on, I think, Cartoon Network. I don't remember, probably on like Toonami back when it ran on weekdays after school for me. And it was just like, oh god, I want to see this from the beginning. I'll watch it, and it's got everything you'd expect from an 80s cartoon, anime, whatever. It's so cheesy, and it's almost hard to watch. But you just sit there going, oh, I love this. Give me Blade Blaster? Okay, now. I'll take that. I wonder if I'll have enough eyes to wait to run through Mission 3 while I'm at it. Probably not enough to... No, uh, probably not enough to uh, be able to hit the epic boss. We'll see. Damn it. It's like it was spiting me by just giving me one. I haven't ever watched many... I don't know. What's the classification of a horror anime? Give me some examples so I can get like kind of a feel for it. Because... I don't think I've ever watched, like, animes that are truly considered, quote, quote, horror. I mean, they've got gratuitous violence, but I don't think I've ever watched one that was truly called a horror anime. Why do you taunt me so, group boss? Why? You'll come back. You'll get me my ten lockboxes. And it won't be enough to get me Sandman. And I'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, look, someone is here. I wonder if he watches Naruto, I'm just saying. Someone with the title of Itachi is boss. I don't know. I think he might actually watch. God, I can't think of another anime that isn't. I was trying to think of like a real offside genre one that would have absolutely no similarities to Naruto at all. And I can't think of one. Which is because I don't watch them. Um. Roll, congratulations. You're in. 